Kan Indonesian player uh, play in the uh, third uh, tier or fourth tier in Spain? Indonesian player. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? But but you have Indonesian blood maybe? I don't know. It looks <laughs> my my dad say no so. <laughs> maybe you have uh, Habib blood maybe maybe <laughs> from Yaman. <laughs> <Can be, can laughs> What's your opinion? Uh, we need uh, development young players or we need uh, naturalization? <laughs> well, uh, I, why not developing young uh, players? Uh, why not? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat datang di podcast Bicara Bola Bersama saya Akmal Marhali Tuan Rumah Bicara Bola Bicara Bola, Bicara Fakta Di sini kita mengungkap hitam putih sepak bola Indonesia Tujuannya untuk memperkaya literasi Sekaligus memberikan edukasi Dan harapan kita ke depan Sepak bola kita akan lebih banyak prestasinya Dibanding masalahnya Today is uh, Happiness because uh, uh, Come uh, to my podcast The best player from Spain, <laughs> Roger Rusi Buanet. How are How are you? Muy bien. Friend. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, uh, I'm so happy to be to be here and talk a bit about Indonesia and about football in general. Uh, and uh, uh, the first question for you: Why you know Indonesia? Um, uh, how I know Indonesia? Yeah, yeah f- many many reasons. Um, uh. Actually. Everyone knows Bali, you uh, yeah, know, when yeah. your first impression. Uh, um, when I was very, very young in uh, school, uh, we used to read, a, uh, I used to read a book about talking about Borneo. Mm, Borneo. About, yeah, yeah, about the island. So I remember uh, knowing something about Indonesia when I was very young. Uh, and then I, well, when I started to speak with, with Lano, I started uh, to follow a bit more like uh, the, the Indonesian league. And uh, it has been a few years and now I got the chance to, to, to play here. So. So, so very happy for that. The first you know Indonesia or you know Bali? No, Indonesia, Indonesia. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but of, of course Bali is the, that place that everyone knows about it. Everyone goes for holidays and so yeah. What uh, your uh, first impression you come to Indonesia? My first impression was like why mm. I didn't come before. Why I didn't uh, uh. I don't know why I didn't know that place mm. because it, it had many things mm. that that I mm. I like and I felt kind of that was my place the first mm. time I come to mm. I came to Bali mm. uh, not not only about Bali eh? mm. in Indonesia in general I mm. was like wow here mm. life is, is is very good it's mm. like the, the weather is good mm. I like the food you can have a, I like to eat a lot of healthy food mm. all these all these things and here you have it Uh, people is so nice, mm-hmm. so calm. Mm-hmm. Everyone smiles. Yeah. Everyone, you know. Uh. And um, I, I just, I just like it. I felt that was my my place to be. I'm a very calm person, uh. and the the style of living here uh. it fits me. It fits my personality a lot. Uh. You are calm in uh, outside, yeah. In out- outfield, you yeah. are calm. In the field, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first uh, you uh, play in Indonesia, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? Well, um, I feel good about it. I think uh, it's it's such an experience. Uh, uh, obviously, we, we didn't start maybe the best uh, way uh, possible, uh, uh, PCS. Uh, obviously, a lot of changes in the team, and uh, it's normal. But but yeah, I'm I'm happy. Already played seven games. Uh, I'm, uh, I got to play in uh, some nice stadiums uh, uh, with nice crowds uh, and. And yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm trying to adapt also fast to the uh, to the league. Uh, it's it's a totally different league uh, league from the other leagues I have been playing. <laughs> <laughs> so and and also like there are many things related to football that are different uh, for some good, some bad. Uh, but, but I'm trying to adapt to them uh, and and also with. Now I have more experience. I'm getting old <laughs> in the football world, of course. So I I can manage it better, and I'm quite happy how I'm managing and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. What's your first impression about Indonesian players? About Indonesian players, uh, um, like Alfred Dewangga, uh, your teammate, uh, hmm. like David Maulana in PSIS. Well, 
uh, especially for example these two players you are talking about I, w- I was very very surprised uh-huh. they, they are they have a lot a lot of quality a lot uh-huh. of quality you know uh-huh. uh, obviously we come from different uh, different places uh-huh. and it's much different maybe the education we have uh, tactically uh-huh. You know, and and obviously that can affect their uh, way of playing. I uh, think if they would have been in uh, in maybe uh, academies and they uh, have they were able to develop their game uh, even more, uh, not in a technical way because uh, for me they uh, are they are technically fantastic. Uh, um, they will be even better players, uh, you know. Uh, and uh, I think it's one of the things probably in in Indonesia still uh, uh, trying to improve it uh, to make the players even better uh, in in different sides of the game. Uh, What the difference uh, Indonesian player and Spain players? Indonesian player, Spanish player. Ooh. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very general question. But uh, uh, I think Spanish player usually uh, we are uh, yeah technical players. Uh, uh, maybe uh, we we have come from a uh, bit better academies mm-hmm. than other maybe countries. Mm-hmm. So that helps us in a, uh, the way to understand the game mm-hmm. basically. You no, know? understand what's happening in the game. And that's something maybe helps us to to make the difference. Mm-hmm. Something, for example, you have seen the the Euro Cup that uh, Spain mm-hmm. won mm-hmm. the last Euro Cup, and I think uh, th- this helps. Uh, I think the the Spanish culture is always like this kind of players. You mm-hmm. know, maybe not so physical, but uh, players that mm-hmm. they are technical and they tactically understand the game. Mm. Uh, what do you think uh, still need to be improved by Indonesian player? Well, I I think um, I, I don't I don't think it's also only a thing about Indonesia. It happens in many countries, no. But but um, it needs to get uh, the local players also mm. Mm. Um, needs to uh, we need to educate them mm. uh, in being more professional mm. in mo- in many f- uh, phases of mm. what is the. What is a football player? Mm. So in the mental side, in the physical side, mm. in the sleep, mm. in eating. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's like this. Yeah, in food, in f- eat, but eating the right food, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and it's something. But it's not only here. I played uh, in the United States, uh, mm-hmm. and my feeling is that they had a, a mm. similar problem in mm. in in that culture, uh, much more because there's uh, a lot of fast food, you know, and uh, yeah. and uh, yeah, I think one one way of improvement is is that uh, players are. Um, they have more education uh, on uh, how to be a professional football uh, player uh, because being a professional football player is not only going uh, two hours to mm, train mm, and just play the game. Mm. For me, it's my lifestyle. It's 24 hours. It's going to sleep early. Yeah. It's waking up early. It's <laughs> eating the right food. You know, it's uh, uh, doing like uh, 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 mobility in uh, the in the gym. It's doing like uh, it's whole thing. Uh, you know, and and uh, but that needs. Mm. It's not just ah. Uh, Players are lazy. Mm. They don't want to become professional. No, mm. we need to educate them mm. and help them mm. to be mm. to be more professional because mm. we can get mm. the best out of them and mm. we can improve. Like uh, I feel, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a mm. small part of this now. I have mm. been only here three months, but mm. but uh, I feel like uh, the game for mm. Indonesia can improve a lot. And mm. because there are good players, mm. actually, mm. I've been in this league already two months, and some of my teammates mm. are very very good. I would say mm. I haven't had like. Uh, teammates that with that level, mm. uh, for example, that the two players you mm. say are mm. like technically mm. they are very very good. Mm. So so there's uh, room for improvement, of course. But and what do you think uh, uh, about uh, other foreign player in League One? Uh, does the quota regulation in this league good or not for pro- uh, for foreign players, or can be more or less? More or less, <laughs> it's a good question. It's difficult to say, but but obviously for me, just having three, four like uh, it was before, uh, it was limiting, you know. Uh, and, and then what you get is that maybe the local players uh, they have their spot uh, for sure in uh, the team, uh, uh, yeah, you know. When uh, you get also more foreigners, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Uh, maybe mm. I don't know how here works the mm. the clubs. Mm. It's a, I'm still learning. Mm. You no, know, but maybe if you, if you don't put regulations, yeah. then for local players <laughs> it will start to come because here like yeah. the uh, some sometimes in some clubs the salaries yeah. are big, so it's it's easy to find players from abroad, mm. you know, and and then there's mm. no space maybe for for local players mm. and they are not treated how they should be. Mm. But I think now with the regulation of eight eight players, mm. for me it's not. Mm. I this rule of six in mm. and two 
out mm. it's a bit you know sometimes because you need to change a mm. uh, foreign to get another foreign mm. in mm. but but yeah I, I think what I have seen so far uh, many of the players uh, foreigners here mm. in this league I'm a bit different of course but many of the players are very physical players mm. you know very tall like very strong mm. you know and and for me this is a bit difference mm. from what I have experienced in other countries like mm. like in Europe or in Mexico for mm. example Yeah, uh, this year there is five Spain player in Indonesia. You know, uh, Yosep Al Jazeri and then Meneses in Barito Putra, mm-hmm. and then Cirone del Pino in yeah. Persib, and uh, you in uh, uh, in PSIS and uh, uh, Ramon Bueno Ramon in Persija Bu- and Carlos Pena, the coach Carlos from Pena, Spain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you communicated with them. Yeah, I know. I know some of them. Mm. I know some of them. Uh, I I talk sometimes with with Tirone. Mm. We have good good relation. Mm. Um, I actually Musa Sidibe mm. is yeah. also. I think is. I, I'm not uh, sure. Two, two passport. Yeah, two passport. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. So he speaks Spanish. So also when I play against mm. against him, we mm. we we spoke and we have friends in common. Mm. Uh, and who else with with uh, in Persija Carlos Peña? Mm. I know him mm. when he used to when he was a player. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to watch him playing. He mm. he's like a big mm. player in Spain. He played in mm. a in a good level in La Liga, you know. Mm. But the other players, I I know in, with Yusef we have friends in common. With Chechu mm. Menezes mm. also mm. have friends in common. Mm. But I, mm. I I don't know them. No. Yeah. Uh, until now, uh, from five uh, player uh, from Spain, who is the best? Ruxi. Meneses, <laughs> <laughs> Jezeri, uh, Ramon Bueno, or Tirone del Vino? Oof, it's a difficult question, but <laughs> no, but Tirone, Tirone is, is a great, great player. Uh, great player. I played uh, against him a few weeks ago when uh, we played in Bandung, uh, and he, has a gr- he had a great career. He played, I think he played in La Liga or La Liga 2, uh, uh, and he's a high quality player. Uh, I think he's. he's Probably the best in the Spanish uh, in this league, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you lose uh, with, uh, when you play uh, with Persib, yeah? Yeah, 2-1. Two one. Uh, yeah, two one. Two one, yeah. We were close to maybe nah, get nah, one nah. point. But. What happened <laughs> uh, with PSIS? Uh, seven games, uh, just uh, seven points, yeah? Uh, two win, uh, one, uh, one draw and uh, four loss. What happened? Well, I think it's uh, it's difficult to say because now we are talking like um, we are talking like we are in kind of yeah. we are not in a good situation. Yeah, let's yeah. say no. But in last game, if you check in minute 88, mm. we were winning 1-0. Yeah, yeah. And now we will be with 10 points. Yeah. And we will be in the in the top of the table. Uh. You know, because the the differences now yeah, are yeah, yeah. we got a red card and then we yeah. we received two goals, no? Yeah. And now looks like oh we are fighting for degradasi, yeah. And you know, and <laughs> uh, and Arema is yeah. much better. Mm. Arema was in this situation mm. uh, one week ago, so everything changed. Yeah. I think we had tough games. We went to play against Dewa, against Persib. Mm. I think we were close mm. to get one point mm. uh, against Dewa, against mm. Persib. Mm. Then we went to Makassar, which is a difficult field mm. also. Mm. And now this week it was yeah, it was a bit, uh, mm. but. I think we are many new players. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we are six new foreigners, for mm-hmm. example. Some local also mm-hmm. also new. Mm-hmm. Some locals that last season were not playing much, mm-hmm. that now they are playing mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. Mm, well, I think we need also the way we want to mm-hmm. play needs. Um, it's a bit different mm-hmm. from other teams, mm-hmm. so needs a bit more time, mm-hmm. in my opinion. We mm-hmm. have also struggle a bit mm-hmm. because some of the fields were not in best condition, mm-hmm. and that doesn't help our game mm-hmm. and help more other teams mm, games mm. if you go to Makassar mm. and you see the the condition of the field helps mm. more them than us <laughs> mm. but I still think I'm trying to be to be positive mm. uh, we need to look forward uh, I need to we need also to understand probably the fans also that that uh, last season they did mm. a very good mm. season mm. and it's it's gonna be difficult to repeat what they did mm. it's when you are a totally different team mm. and everything mm. but We will go game by game and mm. see where the where the league mm. brings us. Yeah, PSS have uh, nine, yeah? nine <laughs> foreign players ah, nine before. Foreign actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sudi Abdallah, but yeah. he's injured, and then Gali Freitas, uh, Rushi, Bobakar Diara, Lucas Barreto, Joao Ferrari, Fernandinho, Evandro Brandrau, and uh, Taufe Skandari. Yeah. 
uh, what's about adaptation all of uh, foreign player in the PSS good Yeah, that, that's one of the things I forget now to say mm-hmm. that also we have been a bit unlucky because we had the injury of uh, Sudi yeah. in the first game. Yeah, in the first game. And, and you lose, uh, you lose uh, uh, with uh, Persita Tangerang uh, the first exactly. game. It, and it was a game, same, uh, uh, in minute 80, uh, uh, we almo- we had a one against one against goalkeeper, uh, we didn't score, and then next action, corner, uh, they score. So we uh, could win that game 1-0, <laughs> and if Sudi will not be injured, yeah. who knows? Yeah. And we had a system, an idea, mm. that we, we prepared during the preseason. Mm-hmm. I think we did a mm-hmm. very good preseason. Mm-hmm. And then one of very important players, Sudi, gets injured. Mm-hmm. So that changed the dynamics of mm-hmm. the team. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got also Brandao, mm-hmm. and then he got injured first training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have been a bit unlucky of this. We had, for example, uh, Toffi that mm-hmm. still couldn't play much. Mm-hmm. He come a bit later, mm-hmm. and I think he can be important for us, but maybe mm-hmm. he needs time. So we have been a bit uh, other players that they they uh, is their fer- first experience in mm. in indonesia for me also mm. but me maybe i played in more countries mm. but so i think there's we need a bit time for this adaptation but i think the the group is is good so we mm. have good relation between us and with the locals also mm. we mix mm. and, and there's no problem and how about the foreign player standard verification uh, for example from spanish yeah uh, uh, from uh, Uh, Spanish uh, league in until uh, third tier, yeah, from Spain uh, yeah. come to Indonesia. And do you think uh, uh, from uh, four tiers uh, in Spanish also good for Indonesia league? Yeah, that, that's some some something I say always when I go abroad. Mm. I say mm. you you uh, you don't know how big mm. the level is in mm. in the third or fourth tier of mm. Spain. Mm. So big the level is mm. so good. There are so many good players mm. that they maybe they didn't make it to mm. go to La Liga or La Liga Two mm. because it's very mm. difficult. Mm. But but they have like a lot of qualities. But mm. they don't like to move from Spain. Mm. And sometimes the 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 culture in Spain mm. we are very familiar. Mm. It's not easy to get us out from from mm. there. Mm. And I I know that some Spanish maybe abroad mm. can struggle. Mm. So that's the reason sometimes we 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 don't see many of the of this level going mm. abroad. But I think that the the level in Spain in the third or fourth tier is mm. so high, so high. Can Indonesian player uh, play in the uh, third uh, tier or fourth tier in Spain? Indonesian player. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? But but it's it, it, they need to adapt the, uh, that uh, to a totally different mm. uh, environment yeah. because it's totally different. <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 difficult to say because mm. uh, I imagine uh, um, every day here mm, in mm, uh, mm. in Indonesia compared mm. to what is in Spain yeah. or in Europe in general, and yeah. it's totally different, and it mm. will be a, mm. a shock mm. for mm. them. But um, I don't still maybe I can't answer this, but um, probably there are mm. players that can adapt better than mm. others. Mm. But for quality, why not? Mm. Roxy, drink. Yes. <laughs> okay, Roxy. What does Spain people reaction when you know uh, you hear Jordi Amat play for Indonesian national team? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it's funny because many um, like uh, Jordi Amat is from close to Barcelona, where yeah, I'm yeah, from, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and sometimes they joke with me, the locals, and I say, "Hey, naturalisasi, yeah, yeah. you and Jordi Amat." <laughs> 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 and then you have to no, but yeah. but yeah, Jordi Amat was a good player in in La Liga. Now came here and mm. played for national team. And mm. actually, it's something I have always thought for mm. me because yeah. I had many friends who played for national team mm. in Finland in Indonesia yeah. in many countries yeah. and my feeling was like wow I want to play for a national team but <laughs> obviously Spain is not going to call me it's, the, it's, it's almost yeah. impossible so I ask I ask my yeah. my dad hey uh, do I have someone in the family uh, from a country yeah, yeah. maybe Indonesia or uh, maybe I don't know some uh, like a country where maybe I mm. maybe I can get called someday yeah. and my dad say no no everyone is Spanish uh, <laughs> uh, maybe you can play in the Philippine national team <laughs> maybe but, but but I don't have no one from there so I will have to naturalize it somehow so no but it's a, it's a dream I had but maybe this dream will be difficult to <laughs> Uh, you have Indonesian blood, maybe? I don't know. It looks, 
<laughs> my my dad say no so <laughs> maybe you have a uh, habit blood maybe maybe <laughs> from yaman <laughs> kambi kambi <laughs> <laughs> Rosy, do you uh, watch Indonesian national uh, team uh, sometime? Uh, no, but I last uh, time I couldn't watch it. Uh, but this next game I would like to watch it. Oh, this next game, the next they game play, uh, play against Bahrain and the China. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what do you think? Uh, do we have a chance to go to World Cup uh, uh, 2026? Maybe. Well, I um, I have been following a bit the group. I haven't been watching them play, so it's difficult to give you a real opinion. To be yeah. honest, I will watch them. Mm. To, uh, mm. um, and well, wh- why not? Why not? Mm. I think now they are competing well. Mm. I think last game against Australia mm. was zero zero, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. And it looked like quite equal game. Mm. Arab Saudi one uh, one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so why not? And they are um, coming also mm. a lot of players from the mm. from the Netherlands. Which they are playing also in a mm. good league, mm. so I think we'll see. We'll see. Mm. Uh, do uh, and then uh, what uh, do you think about Indonesian national team? Is a good or not good? Uh, you, you know uh, your development Indonesia. I've been following a bit, for example, in our club, mm-hmm. in PCS. Mm-hmm. I, I was surprised because we played against the under twenty uh, mm-hmm. uh, game. Mm-hmm. They play very, very good, mm-hmm. very good. Like the, you can see that uh, PCS on this, on the youth development, mm-hmm. they are doing a good job, and um, they are getting probably some of the ideas mm-hmm. we have in the first team, getting into the young players. That mm-hmm. then, when they come to the first team, mm-hmm. they know already what we are doing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not that mm, youth development one mm-hmm. side and uh, professional club mm-hmm. in other mm-hmm. side. No, mm-hmm. they are doing. You could see the under twenty mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. similar. Patterns mm. that what we do in mm. in in the in the PCS. So uh, and I know, for example, now I, I'm go, I'm quite close to Econo Method. There yeah. are some guys. Yeah. I don't know if you have heard mm-hmm. about them. Uh, me, I have been mm. doing their courses. Mm. I have been uh, studying with them, mm. and uh, I know they are coming now to Indonesia mm. and they are starting to work with the club. It's something great uh. that I think Indonesia needs to do uh. because many leagues have done this and get not only coaches, uh, get also methodology from uh, other countries mm. to learn and see, okay, mm. and you don't need to do the Spanish way, mm. but you might get ideas mm. that might help you. You have mm. to do it your way because mm. this is Indonesia, this is not Spain, uh, but you can get ideas mm. from Spain, you can get ideas from Germany, you mm. can get ideas from... Mm. and having coaches also from abroad mm. to our league mm. helps also on this. Yeah. Because for example, our coach, I think mm. he brought nice ideas yeah, yeah. Uh, Agus, mm. because I think some ideas that mm. we have, because I, I see the uh, other teams, uh, they don't play like us, or maybe few teams, uh, but the way we play is different. Uh, so maybe he can inspire uh, some other teams uh, or coaches or youth coaches to do something similar. Uh, can Indonesia have a young player like Yamine Lamal? Lamine <laughs> Lamal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, well, Obviously, Lamin Yamal is a big talent, uh, but there's also a lot of work uh, in academy, in uh, Barca academy, uh, yeah, yeah. for him to improve. Uh, uh, Because people see Lamin Yamal uh, and see only skills, uh, 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 see that the big talent, mm, but there's a lot of work, mm, you know, behind mm, that mm, mm, and in the in the Barca academy. Mm, so mm, I think here mm, you can, for example, it's qu- I, I see quite often mm, uh, kids playing in the streets. Mm, that helps to develop talent, mm, you know, but. We need to have also good academies. Mm. Clubs need to invest mm. in having good academies mm. to have good players. Mm. Because if we don't mm. invest in having good academies, mm. but this is one of the problems mm. is we need to look in a long term mm. projects. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I feel in Indonesia and in many countries it's mm. just people some people just look for short term. Mm. You know, what is going to give me money soon? What uh, I want just results now. Mm. I want to win the league now. Mm. I want no. We need to develop maybe academies mm. and maybe mm. in next five years you are not going to mm. be that good because you are investing money in the academy. Yeah. But in 10 years, uh. you might have the team in the top of the table uh. with players who, who you uh, produce, uh, uh, yeah. who are from Semarang or who are uh. from, I don't know, from Bandung, you know uh. that. And then the club is in the top with young players from your academy uh. and you can also help national team. Uh. Uh, uh, what's your opinion? Uh, we need uh, development young players or we need uh, naturalization? <laughs> well, uh, I, 
why not developing young uh, players? Uh, why not? But uh, but we need to, we need to look uh, in a long term. Uh, Same I say, mm, mm. you are not gonna get young players in mm, three years, mm. uh, good young players in three years, mm. if you don't invest in academies, mm, mm. if you don't invest in coaching, if you don't give mm. good tools. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. You know because yeah. uh, coach, coaches also need tools, mm. need good fields, mm. need uh, need need mm. to invest invest mm. in the young academies, mm. uh, and of course uh, naturalization is something you can use mm. sometimes, you know, mm. but but I think. The solution is maybe not that. The solution yeah. is maybe to 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 invest in the yeah. in the young academies yeah. to improve uh, the young the youth yeah. football here, improve also yeah. the league yeah. here, yeah. having like that, that it's a, uh, the league becomes something somewhere where the young players yeah. can show yeah. uh, and and we use them and then they are ready also for the national team. Uh, you know, uh, until now we have uh, 15 uh, naturalization uh, or. Uh, uh, half but mm -hmm. uh, this is enough or we must uh, increase our naturalization player for Indonesian national team or go to World Cup <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't know it's a difficult question but mm. I, I, I say the same um, mm. if you if you mm. do naturalization about too many players mm. Mm. Maybe you are losing a bit your identity, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. it's okay mm -hmm. maybe to do it with some players. Mm -hmm. But for me, the idea mm -hmm. needs to be mm -hmm. to develop these mm -hmm. young players mm -hmm. that in a long term mm -hmm. from Indonesia, that they become mm -hmm. players for the national team. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can have some, but if these players, mm -hmm. youth, they mm -hmm. are good enough, mm -hmm. you maybe you will, you, you will not need to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. because the good players maybe from the Netherlands, uh. they will go with the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. You know, no, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like this. But, but if you now they are yeah. coming here because yeah. maybe the because there's uh, still mm. uh, improvement for mm. uh, the academies, mm. the youth football. Mm. They are coming here because mm. they they are still good for mm -hmm. very good for the mm -hmm. national team. Mm. But what if we create players that mm. they are better mm. than these guys mm. that they are coming to mm. to Indonesia? Mm. And you also have more the identity. Mm. Uh, people feels more mm. represented. Mm. No, when you mm. have when you have built your players mm. in your country. Mm. You know Indonesian player, and then uh, maybe uh, which player you like the the most so far from Indonesian national uh, player? I haven't watched much. That's the uh, that's the problem. I haven't watched much. Uh, I can't say. I can't say. I need to. Maybe it's next next time I watch mm. Timnas, <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell yeah. you this is the player I like the most. Yeah. But at the moment I haven't. Watched yeah, it. Uh, there is Jay Inches play in the Serie A, and then uh, Justin Habner and uh, Nathan Chuaon player in the uh, English Premier League, and then uh, Calvin Verdong uh, play in the uh, Tom Hay player in Eredivisie. Mm -hmm. Is good uh, for Indonesian players, no? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, but but that, that's what I say that mm. you can have few players uh, like in this level that uh, of course help the help the team a lot, uh, you know. <laughs> but maybe maybe too much. I don't know. It's just uh, my opinion, obviously, mm. and my opinion mm. doesn't matter much. But <laughs> <laughs> but you know. Uh, Rusi, uh, I hear you also a good team analyst because uh, you also have uh, UEFA a uh, license yeah? mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, your Twitter or X account are following by many high uh, profile coach in the Europe mm -hmm. uh, what do you think uh, is the strength and weakness of our national team uh, from your perspective uh, it's a bit what I say in mm. in in mm. in matter of uh, building the squad mm. is what I say, and in mat uh, in matter of tactically, mm. I cannot say yet mm. because I need to watch them more. Mm. And I actually, I I watched the game of Australia. Mm. I actually was with mm. Lano watching it, and mm. and we just watch it like mm. I didn't watch it like properly. You know yeah. what I say, what I mean? But yeah, uh, maybe next time we can we can do the podcast. And we can talk about teamness mm. when mm. I have analyze them properly mm -hmm. and tell you hey I think these are the weaknesses these are the strengths and we need to do better on this on this uh, the last uh, question for you uh, maybe uh, PSS Marang will be a champion this year or not no huh? no no <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I I'm very positive uh, always uh, and optimistic uh, uh, but but we need to be honest also is uh, is very difficult uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. saying no uh, 
Totally, but it's going to be very difficult to be to be champions uh, uh, because we have had also uh, what I say injuries. Uh, we are a new team, uh, and it, it's not it's not easy to be champions in this league. We need to uh, be humble, uh, but you never know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We didn't start uh, uh, well, and it can be uh, for me will be uh, will be difficult. Uh, but uh, we need to look game by game and see where the uh, what number PSG has in the uh, end season now. Your prediction. My prediction. Uh, How we will end? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, Five, maybe. Mm, ah, it's difficult pr- to predict. <laughs> it's very difficult to predict. I can say, I can say, but <laughs> but I, I I say I I try to look game by game uh, uh, because you you in football there are many things uh, you cannot control uh, and we we can have injuries uh, or uh, or uh, we can have maybe new players uh, in November. I don't know. Uh, so I it's difficult to say. Uh, I, uh, my prediction, uh, PSG has maybe in the middle. Middle. Might be, might uh, be. Yeah. Are you agree? If I'm okay with this, um, I I I will prefer to be more uh, higher uh, uh, because last season I know the team did good, but uh, we need to be honest. Uh, at the moment we didn't start well, and um, I need, I I think you know, Chol- Cholo Simeone <laughs> always says this game by game, and uh, we need to look game by mm-hmm. game. Try to get three points against Persia mm-hmm. is next game. Mm-hmm. Not, it's not gonna be easy, and see where the. How the season goes, mm. if we recover injured players, mm. um, how the team dynamics are, mm-hmm. and then we will see where we are. Yeah. Uh, uh, the last, I have uh, one challenge for you, uh, ultimate challenge. Okay. Uh, choose uh, the player. Uh, maybe you think this is the best in the as a defender. Yeah. Uh, two player, and you choose one players. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fernando Hierro or Franco Baresi. Oof. Uh, I would say Baresi. Uh, Franco Baresi or, or Matias Summer? Uh, Baresi. Uh, uh, Baresi or Paolo Maldini? Uh, Maldini. <laughs> But I'm, I, I'm a bit young for this. Eh? <laughs> Think when, when Maldini played, I was five, yeah, okay, okay, seven okay. years old. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. I remember Paolo, some. I remember Paolo some. Maldini or John Terry? Oh, Maldini. Maldini. Uh, Paolo Maldini or Fabio Cannavaro? Oh. Maldini. Uh, Maldini or Marco Matrazi? Maldini. Maldini or Carlos Puyol? Uy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here I need to be honest. Uh, I, I like Puyol a lot because I'm, I used to be, or I am Barca fan because I'm close uh, to Arsenal. But Maldini is best better player. Okay. Maldini or Gerard Piqué? Ah. This one I will say draw, eh? draw. <laughs> no, no, you <laughs> no, choose. I say you draw. choose one. Okay, I, I will choose. I will uh, choose Pique. Pique, okay. Pique or uh, Virgil Van Dijk. Say Pique. Uh, Pique or Antonio Rudiger. Pique. Pique or William Saliba. <sighs> wow. Uh, Pique. Pique or Sergio Ramos. Puff. Pique. Uh, Pique or Rookie? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously Pique. <laughs> But far, far from me. <laughs> okay, Rosie, thanks for your coming. I am happy you come here and uh, see you in the uh, next, maybe. We can discuss about Indonesian football, about Spain football, and about maybe uh, uh, your, uh, 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 your progress in uh, Indonesia, maybe. And then, uh, what's your favorite food in the Semarang? Yeah, um, just first of all, uh, thank you for inviting me here. Yeah, it was nice. And maybe, uh, maybe next time uh, we can also talk about Timnas uh, that we we didn't talk much. Mm. Uh, and yeah, what was your question about Semarang? Uh, yeah, uh, what's your favorite food in Semarang? W- what do you mean? The uh, favorite food. Ah, favorite food. Uh. Okay, okay. No, what what I like here from from Indonesia is tempe. It's tempe, my favorite. Yeah, I think you like lumpia. <laughs> lumpia, yeah. You told me, you told me, but but no, no. no. To be, to be honest, I like tempe tahu. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Tempe tahu. Oke, okay, terima kasih Rusi. Kita jumpa lagi di kesempatan lain. Rusi, pemain dari Spanyol yang memberikan uh, penampilan terbaiknya ke depan bersama PSIS Semarang. Semoga PSIS uh, bisa tampil konsisten dan bersaing di uh, zona juara ke depannya. Terima kasih. Salam sepak bola. Bangkit sepak bola Indonesia. Semangat nolak menyerah. Rusi, thank you.
Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.